Hi, welcome to our brand new Microsoft Azure Fundamental AZ900 Practice Questions 2022. In this video, we are going to discuss all the dummy questions of Microsoft Azure 900 exam. I am your host, Kushal Mehta. And let's get started. Question 65. You need to be aware of the latest Azure security standards to protect your data. Which of the following services should you use to ensure this? And the options are Option 1. Azure Government Option 2. Online Terms of Service Option 3. Trust Center Option 4. Azure Compliance Documentation And the correct answer is Option 3. Explanation Option 3 is the correct answer. The Trust Center implements Microsoft's principles for maintaining data integrity in the cloud and Microsoft implements security, privacy, compliance, and transparency in all Microsoft Cloud products and services. The Trust Center is an important part of the Microsoft Trusted Cloud Initiative, providing support and resources regarding the legal information and compliance. Option 1 is incorrect. Azure Government is another Microsoft Azure service. It addresses the security and compliance needs of US federal agencies, state and local governments, and their solution providers. Azure Government provides physical isolation from non-US government agencies and has the ability to screen US personnel. Option 2 is incorrect. The online terms of service is a legal agreement between Microsoft and you. The OST details obligations of both parties regarding the processing and security of customer and personal data. Option 4 is incorrect. The Azure Compliance document provides detailed documentation on Azure legal and regulatory standards and compliance. You can also see the reference blueprints that can be applied directly to your Azure subscription. Question 66. Which solution should you use to assess whether your Azure environment meets security regulatory requirements? And the options are Option 1. Knowledge Center website Option 2. Azure Advisor Option 3. Compliance Manager Option 4. Azure Security Center And the correct answer is Option 4. Azure Security Center Explanation Option 4 is the correct answer. Azure Security Center is a support service that helps you prevent, detect, and respond to threats by visualizing and controlling the security of your Azure resources. The Security Center continually views new resources deployed throughout your workload, evaluates whether they are configured according to security best practices and flags them otherwise. It also provides a prioritized list of recommendations for the corrections needed to protect your machine. It provides integrated security monitoring and policy management across subscriptions and assess whether your Azure environment meets regulatory requirements. Option 1 is incorrect. The Knowledge Center is incorrect because it is a website for question and answer that provides all the commonly sought after answers relating to Azure services. Option 2 is incorrect. Advisor is a personalized cloud consultant that you use to help follow best practices in optimizing your Azure deployment. Option 3 is incorrect. Compliance Manager is a workflow-based risk assessment tool listed on Microsoft Service Trust Portal. Compliance Manager allows you to track, assign, and validate regulatory compliance activities for organizations related to Microsoft professional services such as Microsoft Office 365, Microsoft Dynamics 365, and Microsoft Azure, as well as Microsoft Cloud Services. Question 67. Is this statement true? Azure pay-as-you-go pricing is an example of CapEx. And the options are Option 1. Yes. Option 2. No. And the correct answer is 
Option 2. No. Explanation. The correct answer is no. CAPEX refers to capital expenditures and capital investment made to improve businesses' productivity and increase assets. Therefore, as your pay-as-you-go plans are not an example of CAPEX and is not the correct answer. OPEX is the various expenses required to operate a business. Pay-as-you-go is an example of OPEX, a type of subscription in which you pay for what you use. Question 68. Is the following statement true? Azure Security Center can monitor both Azure resources and on-premises resources. And the options are Option 1. Yes. Option 2. No. And the correct answer is Option 1. Yes. Explanation. The correct answer is Yes. Azure Security Center is an integrated infrastructure security management system that enhances the security structure of your data center. It has advanced threat protection that protects your entire hybrid workload in the cloud and on-premises, whether in Azure or not. You can also see the status of your resources and whether they are secure. So it's the correct answer. Question 69. Which cloud service format allows users to use services that have already been created and pay for them in the form of subscription model? And the options are Option 1. PWS Option 2. IWS Option 3. SWS And Option 4. DWS And the correct answer is Option 3. SWS Explanation. Option 3 is the correct answer. Software as a service is a cloud-based software that allows you to use features and services as needed. Option 1 is incorrect. Platform as a service is a cloud format that provides a set of platforms such as hardware and OS for running the application software as a service. Option 2 is incorrect. Infrastructure as a service is a cloud format that allows you to use the hardware required to use servers, etc. over the network. Option 4 is incorrect. Desktop as a service is a virtual desktop, a cloud service that provides a desktop virtualization system deployed in a cloud environment. Question 70. You are developing an application in a resource group using Azure Virtual Network and Azure App Service. Based on compliance standards, you should prevent the creation of new virtual machines within this resource group from sources other than Azure App Services. Which of the following would you use to maintain this standard? And the options are Option 1. Azure Policy Option 2. Role Option 3. Tag Option 4. Lock And the correct answer is Option 1. Explanation. Option 1 is the correct answer. You can restrict the creation, update, deletion of resources with Azure policy. Azure policy allows you to apply your organization's standard and assess compliance on a large scale. You can use Azure policies to apply rules to management or resource groups which can limit the space available for creating resources. This policy applies to all subscriptions and resources under that management group by only allowing the creation of resources in that region. Users in each office can only define and evaluate policies in Azure resources in the region of the country where each office is located. Option 2 is incorrect. Roles provide the ability to manage permissions on resources so you cannot restrict the creation of resources with these. Option 3 is incorrect. Tags are used only for resource identification purposes. Option 4 is incorrect. Locks are used to prevent changes to Azure subscriptions, resource groups or resources and you can't limit the creation of resources. Thank you for watching this video. 
please do not forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel buy our premium az bundle with 90% off check link in the description